my first bread loaf. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. I'm an educator. I'm the founder of the Unbreakable Organization. And from time to time, I make a good little YouTube video. It has been so long. It has been such a crazy year. I feel like I tell you this every single time I come on to make a new one. But I did start a new series this year called My First Time, where I do things for the first time. This has been such a big year of change for me. And before things change even more, before next school year video coming soon about that I want to embrace this time and try new things for the first time which leads me into what this video is all about and before I get into it I just wanted to say I'm thinking of all of you during this crazy crazy time it is so weird because I will step outside to walk greasy and businesses are closed, streets are empty, and then I know hospitals are chaotic, grocery stores are chaotic, and I first just want to thank everyone who is on the front line of all of this working to save lives and provide basic needs for other people. Do you hear Reese drinking water in the middle of my spiel? Enjoy a delicious lunch. <laughs> you know that I love you? Love you. I was just saying thank you to everyone on the front line of this and just know that I'm thinking of all of you during this time. I think the most important thing we can do is just be kind to one another right now. Remember what we can control and just pour back into ourselves. And this is such a great time to try new things. I am making bread for the first time and I'm so excited about it. I love bread. I love a good carb. Obviously, I like bagels, loaves of bread, a good piece of toast by avocado. I've never made bread on my own and I feel like it is such a rewarding thing to do to put so much love into something and then have it come out of the oven and say, wow, I did this. So this is before I even make it and I really, really hope it comes out great. This is my little prayer. Please let my bread come out great. And I'm just gonna take you along as I make this bread a labor of love. Maybe you can make bread too at home. So I'll link the recipe that I'm using down below. This recipe actually allows me to finish the bread today. I was going to do another one where you have to wait 12 hours, but this one involves using hot water and the hot water apparently allows everything to cook faster or rise faster. I don't know bread terms, so just bear with me and let's have some fun and make some bread. You need a bowl and then you need, wow. If you are planning on working out at home, this is Okay, so I'm just using all-purpose flour. So I'm just going to use this measuring cup. I'm going to fill it to the top because that is two cups. And then we'll do an additional cup. So we're just going to pour. And I want to be very particular about this because... So often, I just, I bake. I bake all the time, but I feel like with cookies and cake, I'm not always so particular, but I feel like with bread, you've got to be serious, so I'm serious. Look how aesthetically pleasing that is. All right, so this will be a single cup. So now we have three cups of all-purpose flour. That's what I use to bake. Does anyone else have a dog or an animal? I don't know if other animals are like this, but Reese is only six months and I feel like we've trained him very well to be independent. He's on the floor staring at the door. It's like, so he's definitely loving this time and he's so happy that we're home, but at the same time, he is so attached and it's gonna be so hard for him when we all have to go back to work. So this is the part that I'm nervous about. So this is active dry yeast and there is only one fourth of a teaspoon needed. So that's only 25% of this. Very hot, I see the smoke. One in a half cups of water. So with all the ingredients, this is what it looks like. And now I am going to stir it until it is well combined. Whole wheat, which is my favorite. It makes a beautiful uh, whole wheat loaf. 
but you can do it all. You can make olive bread with this. You can make your own combination. It's nervous. I don't know if I did this right, but I'm going to let this sit for about three hours. I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap and wish it good luck. Good luck, little guy. Okay, we are back. It's been a little over three hours. I have flour on my hand and I'm ready for the big reveal. I even put my hair up for this. It's a moment. My friend Chris, Chris, if you're watching this, shout out to you. I put the dough in the oven. I preheated the oven to the lowest it could get, which is 170, and then I shut it off, cooled it down, and then put it in a warmer space. So now it, it looks like it's a little bit bigger, which is good. I'm gonna check the video to see what it's supposed to look like, and then it has to go on a floured surface, and we are going to toss it around about 10 to 12 times. That should look really aesthetically pleasing on camera. I love you, bread. You're a good bread. All right, so this is what it looks like. My confidence level is at about um, a four right now because it's very sticky, although she did say it was going to be sticky. My tray looks like this, and hers did not look like that. So as you can see, it's quite sticky. Quick update, I didn't wanna give up and I felt like I was. So what I'm doing is on a new board now, I added more flour and I think it just needed to be a little, you know, there needed to be some more love. Okay, that was the oven. So I'm gonna put in my iron oven Dutch thing in a second. But I didn't have one of these, um, she's using like, I don't even know what it is. It's like a hard edge, but it, it looks like the bottom of my spatula. So I'm just doing that. Okay. Is this like satisfying anyone? Because it's really cool to watch. I moved it from the bowl to the pan. I'm going to cover it and it's going to go in. She's looking good. I did this. I did this. I did this. I'm gonna put it back in this little oven and I'm gonna put the mini oven in the big oven for like another 15 minutes, but she's looking good. I'm just honestly so excited that I did this even though she's little. Oh wait, and we don't use the top anymore. Okay, I can talk a little bit louder now. It has been the longest day. I literally started this this morning, so <laughs> I'm getting tired. I know that when my dough was on that original wooden board, not enough came off of it because I didn't like play with it enough. I'm not using the bread terms correctly. So it's definitely a cute small loaf, but it's almost done and I'm gonna take it out. And what I was trying to tell you all earlier is that I took the lid off of the iron Dutch oven thing and now it's just in the skillet. I did it! It's so cute! My first bread loaf! I can't believe it. It's also so hot. So I'm gonna put it on here to cool for about 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm going to cut into it, so be right back. Okay, it has been a few minutes. She's looking beautiful, hands are washed. Oh, do you hear that? Wow. Steam, it looks so beautiful on the inside. I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with bread. Oh, look how beautiful, wow. Okay, you can see her. Paper towels, we have like three. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. Did you do a good job? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Really? Mm-hmm. You think so? This is amazing. Proceed, get down, you can't have any. And you picked a doughy one too. See how these are more like bready? Yeah, this is so really good. Really? Mm-hmm. the end of the video truly my first time ever making bread and honestly a great experience I did it it's been an all day but honestly not to get too emotional but it's a labor of love and I feel like right now with all the madness like just finding one thing each day to keep you sane will keep you going I saw Emily Weiss actually make made bread and she wrote 
you know, just find one thing, do one thing each day. And I totally believe that, you know, move your body, color, knit, try something new. That's why I made this series to hopefully inspire you to do something that you haven't done before. I know this is a really crazy time and there are a lot of unknowns out there. And sometimes we just can't control those things, but there are certain things that we can control. So I'm encouraging you to try something new if you can whether it's a new show, a new recipe, making something fun in the kitchen. Hi, Reese. Like I said, coloring, knitting, whatever it is, wishing you the best of luck. I'm always down to take requests. Let me, so know, let me know what you wanna see next in this first time series, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.